up guys welcome back to the reviews um i'm not done a video for a while i have not long had a son so um as you can probably imagine life's very busy so i apologize for not releasing videos more often um but here's one um i want to say a massive thank you to streetcon for sending this out this is their tx13 thermal paste um so i'm looking forward to testing this like i say again big thanks for sending this out um i'll just read a few of the specs off the back of it uh, thermal conductivity 13.4 um so that's pretty much what we need to know. Working temperature raised minus 30 to 180. Um, so that's pretty much what we need to know about that. Um, I'll put some details up on the screen about what I'm testing it against so you can see the sort of comparisons in terms of the figures that are given. And we can see how, we can see how it performs against that as well. Uh, now this, like I say, is a TX13. Um, it's a new thermal paste from Streetcom. Um, you may know Streetcom from doing um, a lot of like sort of really kind of cool cases that they do uh, they do like fanless cases and stuff like that and they do some really nice stuff and um, so check them out i'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look at those if you've not seen them before or heard of them and um, now one of the big uh, selling points of this is as well as obviously being hopefully a good thermal paste and um, it's also without the waste so you can see it comes in these little packets and each one of these has five sachets in it for the perfect amount um, as it states on the packet um, so there's actually five goes in just one of these little packets. So obviously you can see it's cardboard. And for everyone that's purchased, there's a tree planning. So that's good to see. And um, they're doing something right. Um, so anyway, let's get on with it. I'll stick the thermal paste on uh, after I've done a first test with this, which is with the MX4 from Arctic, which is, as everyone knows, is a great thermal paste. And um, so we'll see how it stacks up against this. Then I'll pop this on and I'll do the results at the end. So it's going to be quite a short video. So stick with me, guys, and we'll see how it goes. Right guys, so I've um, put it on, um, tested it against the MX4 from Arctic. was going to test it against uh, the MX5, but I can't find the MX5. So I've tested it against the MX4 anyway, which is a really popular thermal paste, and most people know it for being very good. Um, so I think it's kind of a fair test to test it against one of the probably market leaders. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm a bit surprised really at the results. Um, I'll put them up on the screen as I talk. Um, so. I did a Cinebench uh, R23 test, um, multi-core, on my 5900X using the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240. Um, fans at max on both tests. Um, and I did, like I said, a multi-core test and it's locked at 4.6 GHz on all cores. Um, so it's kind of quite highly clocked um, across all cores. Um, yeah, so the results. So like I said, I did five minutes tests on both. Um, I was going to do a full ten minutes, but I just wanted to do a five minutes test and get it sort of get it sort of done, so I could see what was going on. Um, so the Arctic MX4, um, when I did the test on that, I had an average on the CPU temperature of 63 over the five minutes, and an average of 73 on the CPU package, um, which sounds pretty good. Uh, and then I put the Streetcom on, and now when I first put it on, these are the little packet sashes it comes in, it literally did not look enough. Um, I ended up using a little bit more out of the packet because I was worried there wasn't enough there, because it is li literally smaller than a P, I'd say, even though it says P size on the packet, so I was really worried about it, and I was thinking, what's Streetcom done here, have they done the right thing, is there enough in one of these? Um, so I put a little bit more on. Um, I don't know if you need to or not, but I, I was just a bit worried about how, how there wasn't much on it at all. But anyway... Uh, I didn't need to worry at all. Um, temperatures average uh, 57 on the CPU and 67 on the CPU package. So we've got dropped 6 degrees. Now I'm not sure if it's some, gone wrong somewhere, um, but I did the same for both tests. Um, I started the PC up, I let it have a couple of minutes to settle down, get everything loaded in. Um, and then I started the test, so obviously loaded my hardware info so I can monitor the temperatures and unloaded Cinebench. And then started the test. Um, I did it on did the same on both. Probably give or take a few seconds on how long it took me to start the test. Um, but I did the exact same, and yeah, six degrees lower um, is absolutely incredible. 
Um, so, uh, like I say, I did have uh, a worry and I was going to say mark it down for not being enough in one of these packets, but I reckon there probably is. Um, Shrikam know what they're doing, they're not daft. Um, so, yeah, um, I can't not recommend this. I um, definitely recommend it um, if you're after some new thermal base and want to try something different. TX13 from Shrikam. Um, I hope this video has been uh, helpful to you. Um, yeah, absolutely really impressed with it. So, um, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, that's the results, and uh, like I say, I hope you enjoyed it. Please stick around for more videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click that like button and comment in the comment section below if you have anything to say about this video or any of my other videos. Uh, I always like to hear from you. Like I say, all the subscribers are all welcome. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.